there are few natural occurrences as surreal as the formation of a sinkhole. They can be massive, small, shallow, or deep. When sinkholes form in densely populated urban areas, the effects can be disastrous and sometimes even lethal. In May 2010, a three-story building in Guatemala was swallowed up by the earth. All that remained was a hole in the ground 65 feet across and 300 feet deep. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but people aren't always this lucky when sinkholes form. On a seemingly regular day in 2020, a smaller 80-square-foot sinkhole formed on the busy streets of Xining in northwestern China. The road above the hole caved in, swallowing a bus and a number of pedestrians in the process. At least nine people lost their lives in this seemingly random occurrence. But sinkholes are anything but random. In fact, human actions sometimes have a role in their occurrences in populated areas. So how do sinkholes form? Most often, sinkholes form as a result of water seeping into the ground below, where it can get trapped. Rainwater can easily end up accumulating underground, especially in areas with no form of natural drainage. As rainwater sinks, it reacts with carbon dioxide and decaying vegetation, giving it a slightly acidic quality. Some regions possess bedrock that primarily consists of highly soluble rocks, such as gypsum, rock salt, limestone, and other types of carbonate rock. Geologists call this karst terrain, areas with geology susceptible to sinkholes. As acidic water accumulates over time, the karst process begins, or the rock begins to dissolve, leading to the formation of sinkholes and caves. The acidic water gradually dissolves and breaks up soluble rocks underground, creating cavities. These cavities gradually grow in size as more rock is dissolved. Once enough of these cavities form, the ground on the surface gives way and sinks into the cavity. In some cases, human activity can prime otherwise safe terrain, turning it into a potential sinkhole site. Over-aggressive groundwater pumping, drilling new water wells, road building, heavy construction, and other development projects can all weaken the underlying rock and cause water to seep into the ground below and start the karst process. Scientists also believe climate change may be a contributing factor to the formation of sinkholes. Researchers noticed a correlation between increased sinkhole formation and rising global temperatures. A recent study found that for every 3.38 degrees Fahrenheit increase in global temperatures, the number of sinkholes increases by up to 3%. This fluctuation in global temperatures can affect global rainfall patterns, causing more or less rainfall in certain areas. For at-risk areas experiencing decreased rainfall, the amount of groundwater flow decreases as well. With this decreased amount of groundwater flow, water is more likely to get trapped underground, beginning the karst process. Dry weather can also lead to cracks forming in soils, which then have difficulty binding as firmly as they did before. These can become wedged open, leading in some cases to eventual collapse. In areas with greater rainfall, the water table can rise, leading to more rock dissolving and a greater chance of collapse. So is there anything we can do about sinkholes? Thankfully, there are ways to tell ahead of time if a sinkhole is forming. The most telltale sign of a sinkhole forming underground is if an area appears to be sinking below its surroundings in a round circular depression in the earth. For buildings, it's prudent to check for foundation settling or uncharacteristic cracks in the overall structure. For roads, part of the pavement may crack as well into a hole where rainwater gets funneled into. If you'd like to check if you live in an area prone to sinkhole formation, you can refer to a geological map 
Unfortunately, there are no definite ways to prevent sinkholes from occurring in areas where they naturally happen. For cities and other settlements built over karst terrain, it's the local government's responsibility to ensure that developers do their due diligence in minimizing the amount of digging into bedrock done for their construction projects. Of course, it's everyone's responsibility to do their part to combat the climate crisis as well. Taking these steps can help prevent sinkholes and save lives.